end today. Well, let's get out to Ashraf Lady now, who's Chief Global Strategist at City Index. Um, Ashraf, uh, thanks, for, thanks for joining us today. Hi, uh, some, some of the questions that have been coming through um, on Twitter, uh, where we've been uh, soliciting some, uh, some comments on this, uh, very much focusing on where euro dollar goes next. We have seen euro continuing that move down. Um, Pauline asked, where will, what's the next level we should be watching out for as we look at these declines for the euro? Um, it's, it seems, Becky, that the path of, of least resistance is really to push uh, the euro down uh, now that we sent it to a new year's low past the previous year's low of 126 and change. Uh, it really seems that we are looking at 120. I mean, some people could be academic and could say 123. If we try to keep things very simple, Becky, if you look at a chart, you see that the euro fell. Uh, around 25% in 2008 and into 2009. And then it fell around 23% in 2010. Two years later, it is down 17% uh, or 16% from the May highs of last year. So that tells us that if we're going to complete the third cycle of down at 22% or 23%, we could be looking at 118, 119. And uh, we don't see any uh, intervention or injection uh, creation by the central banks, by the ECB, before uh, June 17th elections uh, from uh, Greece. So the path of least resistance is to push it down. So, uh, interestingly enough, um, Ashraf, we had Thomas Haar on earlier uh, from Standard Chartered, and he was also coming back to this 118 point, I think 118 was uh, the, the, the previous low that he, he pointed to. How likely is it hmm. that we get back down to those 118 levels at this stage? I mean, do we have to get, we go through 120, it becomes more likely, I guess. It's very likely. Uh, the thing we have to ask our, ourselves, Becky, is what would happen or what would not happen in order for the market to be allowed to go to 118. If the euro goes down to 118, uh, dare we imagine where, where stocks are going to be? Uh, that means the euro would be down another 5%. Uh, what would not happen? Would the ECB stay put and does neither an LTRO nor uh, purchases of bonds? Uh, would the central banks led by the Fed not do a swap of uh, a, a swapping dollars uh, just like they did in December the 2nd. Uh, and this is all important. And the news that you just talked about, Becky, regarding uh, uh, the PMI from China, uh, that is leading the macro argument that from the trade headwinds will not be very good for China and that will uh, broaden the risk of a trade. And when you ask about oil uh, also, we could be looking at the low 80s and even the mid 70s for U.S. crude. Okay, Ashraf, thanks very much for that. Uh, Ashraf Lidi uh, joining us there from City Index. Thanks for coming along. Steve.